Hello everyone. So today I have the first of two builds that I have done for the new Crystal Creation Stuff Pack. I started this build a week ago. So the majority of this video is pre-pack release. I literally finished this up on my lunch today. At least today I was over recording, which is the day before this goes live. So I want to apologize right off the bat. There were a couple spots where I hit pause and forgot to unpause. A couple I went back and fixed, but I started running out of time to do that again. So there's... Uh, a little bit of missing build video for the basement apartment, at least after the pack came out. So I believe I have everything, most everything else is just fine. So, but I wanted to let you guys know that I did that yet again. So with this, I wanted to create kind of a in-home shop that is very reflective of some of those, I guess, like, celestial or, you know, you, you had a lot of these shops in the 90s, at least I remember them in the 90s, that were very, like, crystal-y and, you know, astrology and just all these different like new age things so that was what my inspiration for this was but I didn't want to put it in like a normal store setting so I decided to say that my sim here is a witch who loves making jewelry and crafts and wanted to sell it so that's kind of where this is going. I do want to say I call it a witch's like storefront, but I did not put in a cauldron. <laughs> so, and, and I did that on purpose. I just thought with the, you know, jewelry making and all that, which is what the focus of this build is, that that might be a lot to do. However, there may be room to put it in the basement where the living space is. So what I thought when I built this is this is somebody who they own the house. They decided they wanted to open the store and turn their home into a shop and then put like a apartment in the basement. So... That being said, you're going to see I do a lot of focus at the beginning of this build on the outside because I didn't do a whole lot with the inside until toward the end. So I wanted to get pretty much everything done so that I could finish it up on my lunch break, get everything edited and out to you guys for a Friday video. Now, one thing I do want to state is this doesn't use just the pack and base game. I have a few different packs in here. I have used Get to Work to create the shop, so I threw a few items in for that. I did throw in this clothes rack from high school years, and I used the Paranormal pack along with Realm of Magic. So, that being said, lots of different packs. Not too many. I tried to keep it limited. Somewhere along the line, I still have a horse range pack, something in here, and I couldn't figure out where it was. It shouldn't be anything that is a big deal if you don't own that to download. But mostly, I tried to focus on get to work, base game, the, the new Crystal Creations pack, Paranormal, and Realm of Magic. So, one thing I will recommend, if you don't have Get to Work, you could still kind of have the shop set up the way I have it. 
I would put in the new selling table and just sell that way instead of having that counter. So that would probably work. And that way you could still have the you know idea of the store, but not, not have to run it as a store. So here you can see this little area I created. And what I was thinking, if you wanted to put like a cauldron room in here, I didn't put anything on the wall across from the stairway. So that might be a cool idea is to just put a cauldron room there. In fact, I'm thinking about doing that because I'm going to play in this build to try out the pack. And I may end up doing that eventually just for, you know, extra fun stuff to sell. But I wanted to, as I said, for the main build, really focus on the new pack. So here I'm just putting in a small little kitchen area. You know, this is a studio apartment down here. I put in a few things just because, again, trying to keep time down for when the pack came out to get everything done. But I also wanted to kind of create just some nice spaces for living here because we know how that works you even if it's run as a business you still have the time to live in it so that's why there's the apartment and then i built this greenhouse and put in a little garden area so you know you can grow some herbs and things like that or you know whatever and so if you do decide to put a cauldron in, you have some potion ingredients. You can sell the stuff that you, you know, you grow if you want to. Lots of different options in this one. So I wanted to create kind of a story. Because in my mind, this is a, you know, a witch sim who isn't necessarily realm of magic witch, okay? She's just somebody who, you know, think about, you know, us in real life where, you know, we have that type of witch is kind of what I pictured here for this build. Now, like I said, I might consider if I play actually having my sim go through the whole witch thing because I've really never played that, um, but I might not. I might just leave it as a, you know, kind of just this and that store and go from there, so... But I didn't want this build to be your, you know, I think a lot of people are going to do jewelry stores. Just a heads up, my next build is a jewelry store. We are going to skip the throwback video this or next week. And so I'm going to do a jewelry store and I'll have that up on Tuesday. So make sure to like and subscribe so you're informed when that goes live. But I didn't want to do that as the first build. And mostly because you know, I just kept seeing everybody going, I'm building a jewelry store, I'm building a jewelry store. And I wanted something a little different. But I did also want to build a jewelry store. So I have that. That again is going to be another, you know, get to work mix there. But it all works out. It really does. So you can see here, I haven't really talked too much about the build that I'm doing right now. I'm just, you know, kind of decorating the outside. I wanted it to look very country-ish. So, you know, this is somebody who doesn't necessarily want to be known as the witch, but wants to run her store. Okay. And I absolutely love how this yard turned out. It really makes me so happy. All right, so you can see here, I got the pack. <laughs> and I was just so excited to be able to to decorate in here. I, I used a few different wallpapers. Oh, and this desk. I didn't realize when I was building it that I needed a different desk. I don't know why. Like, mentally, it didn't click. As I said, I was doing this on my lunch break, so I think I was kind of in a hurry to get it decorated. So I apologize if there's any weird things 
I tried to double check it before recording this and I think I got most of it figured out. I did replace that desk in the uploaded version with the jewelry making desk. So that is that is fixed and updated. I actually threw it on the gallery and then realized that I needed to replace that. So if you happen to be watching this and you downloaded that build and the desk was in it, I apologize. So, because I threw it up, it would have been yesterday as of when you're watching this, just after, you know, finishing the build and play testing it a little bit. And that's when I play tested it was when I realized that that was the jewelry or not the jewelry desk, but I had already uploaded. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, now just kind of putting in some decor. Now I put in a few items that I thought you might find in this type of shop, but I didn't overfill it. And that was because that way you can come in and put in some things that you want. Um, none of the jewelry displays have jewelry. A lot of that has to do with right now, I don't have any mods installed in my game because of all the issues. Um, I'm just kind of holding off on that. So trying to do this build and this part of it was a little tricky so also excuse my voice here I don't know what's going on but all of a sudden my throat says no you can't talk anymore <laughs> all right so as I said kind of cluttering it up making it look good and we are coming up to the end of the build and I do want to say, I, I think that it's such a cute little, you know, store, cottage. I forgot to put a chimney on it. It needs a chimney. So if you download this, you know, add a chimney. But I, I really like it. I think it's cute. And I hope you guys enjoy playing it with it. I would really like to know if you download and play in this one. Just leave a comment below. Let me know. All right. I'm going to let you guys enjoy looking over the photos for all the stuff you missed me decorating. And I'll see you in the end. in the dark because I thought it just looked really cool. All right. I do hope you guys enjoyed this shorter build video today. And again, you know, leave a like if you did enjoy it and comment below. Are you enjoying these business builds with living area or would you like me to just do a business only build? Let me know. All right. I will see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.